In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic transition from one rendered clip to another rendered clip in After Effects. So let's just say I have these clips imported here. Um, this is the first clip, and uh, this is going to be the second clip. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a timeline that's long enough you know, for your entire animation. So you can change that. Right now it's just based on the clip length. But you can change the whole thing if you go to Composition, Composition Settings, and then change these values here. So um, right now the duration is uh, two seconds and two frames. This is by hours, minutes, seconds, frames. So let's say I want this thing to be, uh, you know, like uh, 22 seconds. I can type in 22 and zero frames and say, and also you can change the frame rate. So if you rendered it at 24, you can change that to 24 or keep it at 30. And then you also have the size that you're going to render this final animation from After Effects. So if you want it bigger, you can change that. But I've rendered it at 1280 by 720, so I'll keep it there. You can then say OK. And if you use this little toggle down here, this will zoom out. And you can actually start to shift the, these clips around. So if you shift and hold down the key button shift, you can actually snap um, the beginning of one clip to the end of another clip. And you can zoom in on that as well. You can see right now, um, this is the kind of overall uh, timeline, so this is much longer than my my thing, but we can trim this thing down later. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is make a transition from this clip from here to this next clip, so it's not a sudden jump. So one thing you can do is if you go to Layer, New, and Add Solid, um, you can make a transition that's either like solid black or solid white by choosing a different color here. I'll just make this, uh, let's make this white for the OK. And then you get this solid bar here. So what we're going to do is go into the transforms of that solid, and we're going to change the opacity so that it's not always visible. So if we open this up and go to transform, we can see the opacity here. So to actually start to change these values over time, the first thing you want to do is uh, set the starting point in your timeline of where you want the transition to happen. So we're going to go all the way to the beginning, and we're going to say we want the opacity to be 0. And then we're going to go to our next place on the timeline. Let's say we want the transition to happen right around here. We can then set a key and increase the opacity. Actually, you want to um, kind of toggle it and then move it back to zero, which will set the key. And then uh, go to where you want the transition to be at 100%, which is where these two overlap. So at this point, we can then change it up to 100. We can then go back to zero at about this location. And it will remain zero until we change that key again. So you can see now, as I move, it transitions into white, and then it transitions to the next thing. So, you know, you could use different colors to transition. You could change the speed of that transition by moving these around. So you can see it's now a little slower, the transition. Um, you can actually, let's say we want it to be 100% a little longer. You can set that there, and then set another key um, just by uh, selecting the location on the timeline and then increasing that value. So now it goes from 0 up to 100, stays at 100, then goes back down to 0. So that's how you do basic transitions in uh, After Effects. You can also add titles if you want by using this text command. Um, this could be your title. Um, and if you select that, you can then change the color of that over here, uh, and the font, and the size, and so forth. And you can see that goes on a separate layer. So just like the uh, background, you can open this up, go to Transform. You can actually change the opacity of the text as well. Or you could go into your timeline over here and uh, just reduce the amount of time by dragging on the sidebar um, of this of this animation or this clip. So now it'll only be visible where um, that's showing in the overall animation. You can also reduce the overall time of your animation if you take that last little piece there. This is your work area. So if you hold this down and shift and snap it to the end of your last clip, that's now the length of the animation. 